Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to do some thumbnails. In order to do some thumbnails, I found out that this application is the easiest way to do it. It's very simple, very practical, you know, like with the, all the Apple products, it's basic software and very easy to use. Um, in this case, I'm going to use my iPad to do the work. And like I said, all you have to do is just download this application. It's called Keynote. And with Keynote, we are going to do some uh, adjustment on the images, you know, like to use it instead of like just using like any image or view video. Sometimes YouTube only gives you like three options to um, use as a thumbnail. So today I'm going to show you, you can create your own thumbnail and then just like with any image with any adjustment make it look good make it look better and it's gonna show like no matter um how many videos there are on on the page your video is gonna show up like very nice very decent and it's very it's gonna be like very attractable for all the customers that are watching your videos okay guys so this is the application that we're gonna use today it's called keynote okay once you have it open we're gonna do uh, our work and right now over here I'm on presentation as you can see okay so we're gonna bring our image by pressing this plus button over here and right on the right corner where it says photo and video you have a few options so the one on the corner you're gonna select that and then it's gonna go to photo or video here's where you're gonna bring your image okay so let's select an image let's see this is my ipad what i'm using right now and then we're just gonna select like any image we're gonna do this one as you can see i brought it over here and then what we're gonna do we're gonna just adjust it and make it like look like it's gonna take the whole um frame the white frame okay there you go so it's right here the next thing is I want to do, I just want to make it look like it's, you know, like attractive for all the other customers that are, all the other people that are watching your videos. In order to do that, what we're going to do is, as you can see, you can tap anywhere and it's going to show like a menu or some ideas or some like a, a tabs where you can do some adjustments. So over here, try to play with all the, the tabs on the top and over here what we're gonna do as you can see we're gonna go to plus and then next one the one that, that we selected before what we're gonna do is just gonna click in there and over here it says text on text we're gonna select it and as you can see I can drag it like whatever I want and position it like whatever I want so if I want it on the top we can put it on the top and make it also make it bigger and we're gonna select our text over here. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, all capital to make it look more visible. So driving, I'm gonna put driving in Chicago. As you can see, it went all the way to the to the top. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna hide our keyboard and it's just like drag it a little bit down. Once it's right here, what we're gonna do is just gonna adjust this frame. As you can see it, I'm making it a little, little longer. And to make the, the, the text a little bigger or a little smaller, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to, I'm um, sorry, we're gonna go to this brush right here. Okay, so what we have to do after we move or make it a little bigger, the, the text, we're just gonna select the text the text and okay so we have the text right here and what we're gonna do it's uh I want the in in the middle so what we're gonna do is just gonna highlight the text and then just go to this brush right here and then over here we have a few options um, over here the where it says chalkboard this is the kind of font that I'm using right now you can just like change to whatever you like as you can see um it has like a few ones some of them are really nice you know like it depends like what you need it for so you go a little back 
and then over here where it says size you're just gonna adjust the, the size if you want it a little bigger or if you want it a little smaller as you can see the text it's like getting smaller so you can adjust it and make it look nice okay so uh, it has a few options where you can just like put it in the middle put it on the side you know like on the left side on the on the right side also you can change the color of the text so let's say you want it white, you want it black, um, you can change it to whatever you like, okay? In this case, we're going to put some color because we wanted to make it look nice. You know, we want to make it look visible. So I'm just going to select orange. Let's do a little clear, okay, right here. Okay, so after that, right here at the bottom where it says font, you're going to see like the B, the I, U, um, that it's a bold. It's for the, for the font. And there's like those dots right here. It's like four dots. We're just gonna click there. And we're just gonna go all the way to the bottom where it says outline. And we're gonna turn it on. And what we're gonna do, the line type, you can select like any type that you like. I always try to recommend, you know, like use the first one. But if you wanna use like any other, you can go ahead and use it. The other thing is we're gonna change the color of the the line so let's say let's make it white or should we do a little like gray or black let's see how it looks on on white okay and also the width we're just gonna like improve it a little bit okay so as you can see it's going a little thicker but the the text is kind of like losing, you know, so we're just going to go back and make the text a little bigger. But also we're just going to go again to the brush and then make the size of the of the, the text a little bigger. So in that way, it's going to fit the, the square, but also the letters are going to be bigger. Okay, so we're just going to select right here. Let's try to put it in the middle as you can see on the top where it says driving uh, the white line outline is kind of loosened so we're just gonna have to change it to another color so we're just gonna go to the the four dots over here all the way at the bottom and we're just gonna change the color to let's say what about black or you can change like to any color that you like let's say you want a blue like like a little darker lighter um, whatever you like you know like make it look let's say yellow I would say like yellow would get more attention you know so let's go back and try to adjust the, the width it looks way much better Just make it a little less not that thick also we can change the color a little bit to make it a little more attractive let's put it to red okay so right here you have as you can see um, the text looks nice you can just like move it wherever you want you know also with this application you have a few options you can play with it you know um, it's very practical let's go to the brush again and make it a little bigger okay so okay I would say like that would get the attention of the people that are watching or looking for videos on YouTube let's say when you're doing a search and you type driving in Chicago um, a lot of videos are gonna come out but some of them they don't have you don't you know you don't get the attention and this picture is gonna t get your attention and be like okay this one looks nice you know let's go and play on the video to see what it looks like and then uh, people are gonna start like finding your videos if you do this type of things you know another thing that you can do it's um, like I say you can change the font you can adjust the, the size you can do a lot of things with this uh, with this application another thing that you can do it's like draw on on the image so we're gonna go to the, the to the t dots over here in the corner and I'm just gonna go all the way at the bottom 
and let me see where is that thing um, okay sometimes you can also use the 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 pen that comes with the iPad okay so in this case I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna draw as you can see all the way to the bottom before the bottom uh, it says drawing so in drawing you're gonna have this pen and then you can select like what type of pen you want to use in this case I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use let's change the color to to white uh, now let's change it to a little more vibrant let's say um, blue okay so once you have this what you're gonna do just gonna draw around your text as you can see right here I'm drawing 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 I'm gonna draw right here that's why sometimes it's good to have the pen you know because that's gonna make a little more accurate as you can see that everything disappeared so in order to take this one to the back what we're gonna do it's type on the on the touch the little brush and then over here where it says move back to the front that's what we're gonna do as you can see it's um, right there right there is perfect I mean it's not that perfect you know the lines are not that perfect but at least it's doing the job you know it's uh, getting the attention um, or your image you know when you are scrolling down and then you see something like this we it's very like clear that the video is about driving in Chicago so this application is pretty good I would say like it's one of the best application that I have found like to to do some thumbnails it's very easy to work um, very easy to to adjust a lot of stuff um, see you can adjust this and then I'm selecting right now the, the, the text and I'm sending it to the back so that's why it doesn't show up um, but yeah like I said um, it's very simple and once you have your work done let's say this is what you want to do um, this is the, the image that you want to um, show on your videos what you're gonna do is just gonna hit play and then over here it's gonna show like that so in order to save it what you're gonna do is just gonna ha uh, make a screenshot of this as you can see right here and we have to change it to the format that um, YouTube is gonna use it so over here select done save to photos and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, to the photos we're gonna open it and then it's gonna be the last image over here so once you have this what we're gonna do is we're gonna do edit over here at the bottom where it says uh, it has the square and over here on the on the top uh, right corner there's like the dots three dots and next to it you're gonna hit there and the the square that you're gonna find over here as you can see it says original at the bottom freedom the square and then the one that we're gonna use to do our thumbnail is 16 by 9 this is the one that you need to do your um, your thumbnail once you have selected that we're gonna do done and that's the picture that you're gonna upload to your uh, thumbnails on when you are editing your YouTube video okay so I hope you like this tutorial and like I said to me uh, this application is very simple very practical um, you want to change whatever you you want just hit delete delete this one too you want to make it perfect it's okay you erase it you don't want to you want to take it back over here on the left uh, top corner it's the undo button okay so I hope you like this video I hope you like this idea of how to do some thumbnails you can adjust whatever you want like I said it's very easy very simple and I mean to me it's been helping me a lot with doing a lot of a lot of thumbnails for my for my videos okay all right guys well thank you for watching I hope you like this video and I hope you can subscribe to my channel and I will bring in more videos like to show you how to do your more 
improvising on your videos, okay? Thank you.